ready? Yeah. Should I give an explanation? Yeah, sure. You don't have to point at me, you can just point at this. Okay, go for it. That's the one you just did? That's the one I just did. That this looks, I that have in hard clean. This is the angle. You can hardly see the cross hatch anymore, but it's there. So the dingleberry tool was 35 bucks? I got it on Amazon. It was 39? Somewhere shy of 40. Yeah. And it's a four and an eighth inch? Four and one eighth. A four inch might do a little bit, be a little closer fit, but this is flexible, so it takes out the, the four inch even was more expensive, but it also wasn't available as quick as I wanted it. So, prime shipping wins me. We want this to stay wet while we're going. The idea is to basically be a machine. You want to be as consistent as you can which sucks because our thing will block at a low speed if you're stuck at high speed only. You're trying to tack both at the same time, which is a trick when you don't have a tool that you can set to a specific speed. The bouncing up and down, you can, I mean, you can control that pretty easily, but it's trying to, it's trying to get the trigger to be the same while you're doing it is hard. In there. Yeah, looking good. Okay. You want to spin going in and spin coming out. Not just shove it in. Yeah. And start it. No, it's hitting. And then the cross hatching helps the rings seat properly on a brand new engine. Brakes me. Okay. Now we wash these and we polish the piston heads off. Got another brush somewhere here. bind this back cap it's just for access to put this, the little C clip to retain the wrist pin on the piston to hold the two connecting rod. This doesn't take any torque but you get a lot of people reefing down on these screws. This is a perfect instance we tried to T-slot them with a with a Dremel tool to get a flathead in there we still can't bust them loose. 
not one of them's moving. Um, so this is a trick a lot of guys use on aluminum cylinder heads. A 5.7 Hemi will have the studs shear off. They'll break off flush the exhaust studs in the aluminum head. You take a good nut, put it over that broken off stud in the cylinder head, weld the center of it to the nut, and then you can get your wrench on the nut, loosen it off. This is a chintzy skateboard kingpin nut. It's got the nylock on it, which it's really not, I don't know, it's not good enough metal to get a grip on. So in the absence of some good hardware that would be good to weld to, we've done two so far and this has worked. This is just a piece of rod, a steel rod that we had, weld the tip to it, and it's come out. So we're free to watch and you'll see how this works. Not ideal, but in a bind, this is a good redneckology. Ah, oh, crap. There it goes.
camera and help me spread this. And then sure. if we've got time, let's say, yeah, we would rather get the motor right. then we flip it over and put the rest in. Grab a long extension that I can get down. Focus. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't fit. Hmm. Well, that's how you put a case together. Cola. Well, Look. bummer. Well, I suppose this thing goes. Back into bags. I wonder what rings those are for. Let's get the sandwich bags. Yeah, I'll go grab them. 